asked me what's the relationship between uh, poetry and, and journalism, and I think one hand washes the other, uh, both uh, storytellers. Um, and so uh, this first piece is a piece uh, based on uh, what I, I, I heard in the news when I read it. Dear Justice, where have you been? I've been searching for you for a very long time and I can't remember the last time I saw your face. Don't you hear them screaming? Young, Aboriginal children forced into residential schools with the hopes of gaining an education. Instead, the priest studied their anatomy and taught them not a lesson in physics but in physical abuse. Just. In the court of law, we swore on the Bible that swears on you. But where were you when those who swore on the Bible committed genocide and then swore it was you? Just. Why weren't you in molded issue when a woman was stoned to death with a baby in her belly? Meanwhile, you find me for jaywalking across the street. When I cross the street, there was a woman stoned to death with a baby in her belly. Just. You didn't pick an eye seat on that greyhound. Head into somewhere, head into nowhere, head it goes off neck, head it goes on chair, head it going on floor, head it going nowhere, but now the killer's in a mental institution. Justice. Is that you? Is that you that keeps Mumia behind bars or roofies in the drinks and the cocktails in bars or young African children making us delicious chocolate bars? Just. Why weren't you in the basement in Austria where a man raped his own daughter and his daughter's daughter? Messed up situation where his grandkids are his kids and his kids are the parents of his kids and his kid is his lover. He claims that he loves her, but to his kid and his kid's kid is nothing but another mother. Just. It's sad when they call him great papa or granddad when there's nothing great or grand about him. You say he's sick, I say he's evil. You say inhumane, I say it's people. But just as you claim they were all created equal, except for the spawn of this incestuous coward whose eyes are closer than average, as though to peer into their soul to realize that the innocents were stolen before they were born. They have a broad forehead, as to perceive the drama beforehand when they realize that the family tree is dead and has no roots but one rotten fruit. Just. You mean to tell me that O.J. Simpson didn't do it? <laughs> you mean to tell me that Casey Anthony didn't do it? Or that Mike Big get six for fighting pits? Come on, Justice, I liken you to Santa Claus. We all hope for you, but we'll never see you coming. I liken you to Santa Claus. Some old white man trying to be you. I liken you to Santa Claus. You think you know who's been naughty and nice, but you have no clue, do you, Justice? Where are you, Justice? What are you, Justice? Is justice just or is just is just is? Just isn't what just was or what just is, dog. No. I'm starting to wonder if there's even justice or if there's just us. Thank you. This next piece is also about uh, stories uh, that I found through the journals. Kay. Her name is Kay. Born in 1947, Moscow. Her father the USSR on. Once a week, he would take his daughter to the ballet. She loved how her father would hold her in his hands. She enjoyed listening to the feet of the dancers as they pattered to the rhythm of the melody, like ba 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 Her beauty, undeniable. She was long, strong, and powerful. Her skin glowed under the sun with remarkable beauty and glistened in accordance with the stars by moonlight. As she grew, she became the lust of many men. They loved the way she felt in their hands, the way she made them feel safe, the way she made them feel like men, and Kay loved them back. Because when they held her, she was reminded of the Moscow Ballet and how the feet of the dancers pattered to the rhythm of the melody. Like ba 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 ba. 
Kay loved to travel. She visited men in the trenches of Germany, the villages of Finland, the temples of China, and the caves of Afghanistan. But when she landed in Africa, she was home. She was at peace with the heat. The red soul beneath her feet made her feel loved, and the men showed her an affection she had never known. She was with the most powerful African men, really silly reptilian Nigerian men who will and nearly stipend and siphon 40 billion from Nigerian civilians. She had affairs with the poorest of boys who clung to her like a teddy bear, young uh, Congolese children with no vision, who with precision decision caused division by stealing United Nations food provisions. But Kay got carried away, allowed herself to be taken advantage of. You see, they didn't love her like she loved them. They loved her body and the way she made them feel powerful like men. All she longed for were the times when they would stroke her neck as she sang to the rhythm of the Moscow Ballet, like ba 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 ba. She would do anything to be reminded of the Moscow Ballet. She would fall into the hands of the world's most dangerous men. She would kill for it, and in fact she did. Rwanda, Uganda, Somalia, Ethiopia, Cote d'Ivoire, Sierra Leone, the Democratic Republic of Congo, millions died from the touch of her lips. K, AKA Klinishnikov, named after her daddy, Makar Klinishnikov, born in 1947, K, AKA AK 47. A kiss from her lips would send you to heaven, brothers rushing just to hold her, others styling when they see her, but all bow as she sings to the rhythm of the Moscow Ballet, like ba 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 This class um, was inspired from, uh, from definitely from uh, working, working in, in, in news media about what, what stories matter. We talked about agenda setting and, uh, and uh, how we choose stories. And, and, uh, and, and the same thing, I think, also applies to poetry. So. I have a sixth sense. But I do not see dead people, I hear deaf people. Depressed, dejected, and oppressed people, people without a breath, people, they're all saying, pick me, pick me, pick me. I could have been a doctor, a lawyer, or a shoe salesman, no. Instead, I chose to be a poet, journalist, acting as a voice for the voiceless, a mouth for the mouthless, a lung for the breathless, a soul for the soulless, they're all saying, pick me. And so this sixth six sense touches all of my senses. I can sense the scent through my nose of a homeless man who knows the thin line between genius and madness. His sixth scent of innocence of incense is saying, pick me. When I touch the belly of a battered baby, I can sense when her muscles tense, her intense, tense tendons are saying, pick me. My pupils see through peoples, the pupils of people who do not make no sense, who do not make no sense. It's nonsense to think that common sense is common to common people, but come on, people, the sense is intense. They're all saying, pick me. And I taste. I taste the succulent substance of suspense. I spit out tenses and ten sentences for the man on death row with ten sentences. He's saying, pick me. But I have failed, I have failed because I feel them, I sense them all, the black female, the forgotten, the begotten, the poor, those in the middle of a crisis wondering where Christ is, the monks in Thailand fed up saying, poke it, the victims, geez, us, they have their hands up saying, pick me. Their bodies are gone. Their hope has perished, but the need of their song and their spirit to live on. And this is my chance. And so I pick, and I pick, and I pick, but I pick wrong. I read a poem about my name, a poem about my ex-girlfriend, a poem about my laptop. I have murdered their soul. I have destroyed their tongue. I guess I should have been a shoe salesman after all. You see, then... At least I would have saved their soul or prepared their tongue.
I believe as poets, journalists, activists, entrepreneurs, God has given us a gift. Nothing has come into existence without it being spoken first, but yet sometimes I write poems for judges with scoreboards who grade my soul out of 10. But if I pick right, a 10, a 5, a 1 could mean that those people without a voice are given one for at least a few moments. But if we pick wrong, if we pick wrong, you and I, you and I will be haunted by that eerie, ever pervading sound of the ghosts, of the death, saying, pick me, pick me.